Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve this hard Sudoku by using a Sudoku W wing. Knowing that, stay tuned, I'll give you a fun fact about our Friday feature set of Turganis. Click below if you want to give it a go. With that, it's solving time. First thing you want to do is kind of look near the top. You got these two threes in rows one and three, this three in column seven. So this has to be a three. And then you'll notice how this six cuts across row three. This six comes up column seven. So this creates a pointing pair of sixes and the other thing you might notice is since you have the two fours here and they can only be in these two spots this is actually a hidden pair of four six we'll mark the hidden pair of four six and what this does is now sixes can't be anywhere else along row one because they have to be somewhere here in block three which means with this six coming across row three this has to be a six nice and then if you see this five cutting across row two and this five coming up we can actually solve for a five right there and so now with this five and this one you'll know that this is a one five hidden pair so similar to the four six you want two places for the one five to be are going to be down here and so we want to make that mark because that's going to help us solve the rest of the block and the rest of the uh the column here okay what's nice is now you have a naked triple of seven eight nine so this is going to do two things for us one we're going to be able to solve a cell in here because you can see this is the eight and nine means this has to be a seven and then we have an eight nine naked pair right here whenever you only have two cans left that's a naked pair but then you notice since we have the eight nine here the four six here we can actually solve this cell we know this has to be a two and so we can solve for that two um the rest of this we're not going to be able to solve right away but i will make the marks because it'll come back to help us a little bit later all right so get rid of that seven and eight right there and i don't think i oh i can get rid of the one right here because of the one five cutting across same thing here we're not gonna be able to solve these right away but i do want to make these marks you got a two seven eight nine put the two right there got the nine right there and this can't be a two okay so we kind of did a lot of work up here at the top now we kind of want to work our way down so you got the seven cutting down column four and column six the seven cutting across only one place for seven in block eight so we can mark that and with these two sevens only one place left for seven here in block nine so we can mark that seven and this is nice i like how turganis does this if you remember my previous video he says he likes to work on certain techniques and kind of perfect them in this case he uses a lot of hidden pairs you see how the six eight cuts across here so now there's a six eight hidden pair no other cans can be in here because it is reserved for those two cans the six and the eight and i love how this is and it sets up and we're getting close to that first advanced strategy all right what it leaves us with is a nice naked triple one two four which is going to be a locked uh cannons which means that not only are they limited in this block but they're also limited in the same row and so the one two four have to be uh, they're doing double duty for us in the block and the row uh, let's clean up some of these cannons here the one two and that can still be a one two or four but what it does is now it limits these two cells to a five or a nine since we already have a five up here we can actually solve this cell for a nine and solve that for five nice and what you'll see here now with this five and this five there's only two places for a five up here in block eight. And this is awesome because what you see here, you got two places for a five here in block eight. You have two places for a five up here in block two. This little mini X wing will help us solve a cell because whenever you see this situation, what you know is that the fives are limited to columns four and six in block two and in block eight, which means the five has to be somewhere in column five here in block five and since we have a five right here we can solve this right away anytime you see this you can always look and solve in that middle column okay moving from here we got these two fives with this five means we can actually solve for five over there which is very helpful for us and what else can we do we can come back down here so you got the six eight here you got the six eight here you also have a nice little six eight right there so we actually have another hidden pair of that six eight so I do want to make sure I mark that, which is going to leave us with a one, two, four naked triple remaining in block seven. We can get rid of the four there, get rid of the two there, and we can get rid of the one there. And you're like, Timberlake, you're doing a lot of marking. Are you going to do some solving anytime soon? And the answer is yes. I am going to get some solving done. We're going to get to that first advanced strategy very soon. In fact, I'm setting it up for you right now and remember though it's not the w wing you guys keep watching because the w wings later in this puzzle you have to get this done first 
if you want to be able to solve that W one. Okay, what I want to focus on and want to see is you, you're going to start filling out some cells here, and you're like, okay, I'm not making the progress I need to make. What you want to do is we want to actually focus here on columns three and five because we have most of the candidates filled out. That's where you want to go next. And this is a tip I share with you on my previous dance video. Whenever you're just running out of Snyder notation and you're running out of places to solve cells, the next thing you want to do is go for single candidate strategies. And something's going to pop up here where we're going to see a single candidate strategy. So let's do this one, two, we're going to do one, two, four, or nine. So I'll do one, two, four, nine here. We can get rid of that two and get rid of that nine. And then that's still all one, two, four, nine. And let's look here at column five. Because what do we need here? It looks like it would be a two, eight, nine. So this would be a two, eight. And then down here, this would be a two, nine. Okay, this is great because now we have an. I have made the way for us to look at our first advanced strategy. So I'm switching over to a single candidate strategy. You want to look down columns three and five. And maybe you see it. It involves the twos. Anytime you have uh, two candidates limited to two columns and they share one row. So in this case, they share row four. And I'll put that as the base. And then one of the candidates is in a three by three band in one row like right here and the other candidate is in the same band but in a different row we have a sudoku skyscraper okay when i see this pattern i know there's a skyscraper and we're going to be able to do some solving this is great so what it means is either a two's here if it's not here it's going to be up there and that has to be a two this can't be a two and then you'd have a two right here so there has to be a two at least in one of these yellow cells. We can eliminate two from any cell that sees both of them. This is great stuff. So now we can eliminate two from right here. And we can eliminate a two from right there. We're going to be able to do some solving. Awesome. And before I start moving into the solving, if you want to solve more puzzles like this, get exclusive ad-free content, join the Smarty Party. Click on that membership link below. Okay. Let's remove our colors and we'll get back and we'll do this. Now we got this one, we got this four, we got this two, we got the five and the four. And you'll be like, all right, Timberlake, I don't need you anymore. Not true because we still got to get to that W wing and we're still setting it up. So we are not done yet. I'm going to mark these fours just to make sure I remember that as a uh, basically two spots for the four there in block four. But you can make a lot of progress here. And so what do we need across here? It looks like a two, three, nine. We can actually solve that for a three. And this is going to be a two, nine. So we did make progress. We did solve some cells. This looks really great, but we're not done yet. Now we're going to have to focus up here. And we can actually do a couple more cells to solve. We got that one. We got that five. Remember, because we solved the five right there. Great. And I want to focus here in block five here. Now, what can be here? Column four, block five. It looks like it can be a one and it can be. It can be a one or a. Six, right? Well, we got the six there. So. That's your six. And that's your one. Nice. OK, and then what we got over here, two, three, eight. So this can be a three, eight. And then this can be a 2-3. Okay, this 2-3 is important. We need to keep an eye on this 2-3. Okay, now what we want to look at is let's look over here. I want to, I want to kind of start looking over here in row 4. Row 4. What can this cell be? Can't be a 1. Can't be a 4 or 5. Can't be a 6 or a 7. And it can't be 8 or 9. It has to be a 2 or a three. Okay. And where can a three be over here in block six? Okay, you got a three coming up and down, column seven and nine. So three is eliminated to two spots right there. This is critical. This sets up the W wing strategy. All right. This is awesome. You're going to love this. So what is going on? You're like, Timberlake, I don't see what you're doing here. All right. We want to see, whenever you see these two by value cells, BVC is like this. So you got one, you're looking at this three by three band. 
also called a belt. You see the by value cell in one block in one row. You see the same by value cell in another block in another row. So then you want to focus down here on the third block in the third row. Can one, is it limited to only one of the candidates? And the answer is yes. This can only contain a two. It cannot contain a three. Like we just showed, the threes are limited right here. You can't have a three here or here. This is going to only contain a two of the two three. That means that one of these blue cells has to be a two. You're like, why does that have to be a two? Because if this was, this was a three and that was a three, then you eliminate both the threes as possibilities in block six. You'd break the puzzle. This is a W wing delta variant. And this is great because this allows us to be able to make some solves here. All right. And when you see this, we can do is you can eliminate a two from any cell that sees both of the blue cells. And so we can eliminate a two from this cell right here because we know one of these has to be a two. And before we solve this, I do want to give you my fun fact about Turganis. His puzzle names, they're off the aesthetic of the puzzle or some sort of substitution of words from the rule set. So this is lettuce last. It kind of looks like a little last the way it was shaped. But diagonal rows, which is another great puzzle that I solved, and I'll put a link to it at the end. You've got to check that out. It has a lot of advanced strategies just like this one. It's a classic. It looked like the petals of a rose on a negative diagonal. And I did kind of show that out. And actually, Turganis does a response video to that as well. And so I wanted to say, you know, we're always curious, where do the setters come up with names for the puzzles? And this is good stuff. Okay, let's remove the colors and let's get back to solving because now that's an eight. We can do some solving here. All right, three, two, we're not out of the woods yet. We are still solving this puzzle. We got to continue to look and figure out what can we do to uh, complete the solve. One thing you want to see here, you got the seven cutting across and this seven coming up. So sevens are a pointing pair over here in block six, which means sevens are limited to one of these two spots here in block four. So if you look right here, what can this cell be? Well, it can't be a one. It can't be a two or a three. It can't be a four or a five. It can't be a seven because the sevens are limited to those two spots. And it can't be an eight or a nine. This actually has to be a six. All right. And now you see that naked single six, we're going to be able to make some more solves. Okay, I can get rid of that eight here. I get rid of that one there. Gives us a seven, nine. And now with these two sixes, uh, I'm going to be able to make some more great solves here. So let's kind of focus up here, right? We got this nine. So actually, we can solve that for your seven, which will solve this for the seven. And we'll keep on moving. So this has got to be now two, three. Got your two right there. So here's your two. And there's your three. And then now we can solve this cell for the three. And this has to be a nine. Okay. And then we look in here. We got one, four, nine. Let's remove these sevens first. And we got the nine right there. We got the four right there. So this has to be your one now. Okay. And so we can solve that for a one. We can solve this for a four. Solve that for a nine. Great. And now we just got an eight, nine up here in block one making great progress love it all right these two ones this one ones always jump out at me for some reason and i don't know why all right uh keep going got the ones only one place for us for a one down here in block nine all right looking good there and now with this two we got this nine and two i love gobbling up these bvcs with this nine this is an eight and nine because then i have less i have to look at and less i have to scan because i'm Solving all of these great cells here. Okay, we got the seven, means this can't be a seven anymore. It leads us to an eight, nine. And then we got this two, seven, nine. Okay, so that means that has to be an eight. So now we can solve this for the nine. Solve this for an eight, solve this for a nine. All right, and now let's get rid of these eights. And now we can get rid of this nine. And we're getting close now. We're getting close. We got a full house right here. I always want to go to the full house and see if I can solve that. And so it looks like we're missing a four. So we're going to be able to solve that for a four, which gives us this two, gives us this four. Now with the two in column seven, we can solve this for seven, solve this for a two, looking good. And with this seven, now we got these uh, Snyder marks. We can displace those. Got that seven, solve that for an eight. All right, with this four, this gives me a six, gives me a four. And then we come down here. And with that six, we can solve this for an eight and solve this for a six. You need to check out this 
other puzzle. If you want to solve Sudoku advanced strategies even better, thank you so much for being my Friday feature setter, Turganis, and thank you so much for watching.